Hello friends, welcome back in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we will see how to install C++ in Eclipse on Windows 10. So we will follow these simple steps and finally we will successfully install C++ inside the Eclipse. So we will start with the very first step. Let's get started. So here we go. Step 1. In the step 1, we have to download a C, C++ compiler because we are going to run any program in the C, then definitely we must have to compile before run it. Okay, so this is the link and the same link is given in the description. So you guys go there and copy that link, open your favorite browser and put in the address bar. And then you will see this uh, min gw w64 page and uh, there you can see the mention. Uh, Windows 64 and 32 bits so this uh, setup will work for both now on this download page you will see this uh, download table and there's so many download uh, compiler and interpreters available now we have to click on this one only and then this will redirect you a different page so write this page this is the link this is the direct download link by the source forge so just click once and uh, you will be navigated to the different website. This is sourceforge.net. This is officially hosting this file for the downloading. And uh, this is the progress bar once it is zero and the downloading will be done. So a very small file is downloaded. So I have placed this in a separate folder. So we will proceed from right this place. So just double click on this downloaded exe to start the installation okay the very first screen you will see the welcome screen okay then click on this uh, next button out a few seconds you will see uh, this settings window here we have to select a few things so this is the version if you are working on a specific version so you can select this any previous version and in the architecture we are working on the 64 so we have selected x86 underscore 64 architecture and uh, leave this thing voice x and uh, finally click on this next button once you click the next button it will ask you for a destination folder the default destination folder path is given and there's a browse button so you can select so for meanwhile i am saving this uh, default installation folder so we will change it further so click on the next for uh, starting the final installation this process will take some time so just wait for that and after the completion you will see uh, uh, this uh, message that uh, x86 by 64 the blah blah setup is has been installed successfully now click on the finish now we're going uh, back to here this file we have this steps mentioned so the first step is completed the compiler is downloaded now we have to do one additional step we will copy the mingw folder and we will directly copy this folder to the c drive we are doing this step because of avoiding this uh, path issues uh, because the default download location is a uh, is little bit uh, complex and the path is very uh, weird so making this path very simple so this is the download location and the final this is our folder targeted folder min gw64 we have our machine 64 bit so 64 bit is installed and after that uh, we have just copied that folder and copying in the C drive all this step is we are doing to avoid the uh, path conflict now I'm uh, renaming this one for the better identification main GW 64 and leave as it is now see this we have uh, our bin folder directly inside so installers, installation will be done such a way uh, the parent folder will be mingw after that immediately we have to see the bin folder so just copy this path 
we will put this path in the environment variable in your system. So we have completed first step successfully. Now the second step in which we are going to set the environment variable and we will add the bin folder path. So go to the PC, do a right click, select properties, click on the advanced settings. Now here on the environment variables and this uh, window will appear. Just scroll down, select for the path, click on this edit button and this uh, window will appear. So click on this new, so new uh, text space will be ready. Now copy this path, C min GW and the bin folder, click OK, close it. So we have done our step two successfully. Now we are moving on the step three in which we are going to download the Eclipse Aux season three. I'm showing you this step because of many uh, beginners are watching the same uh, tutorial. So avoiding the confusion for those beginners. So this is the path of the Eclipse that I am using. So you can get this link from the description and uh, in such a way you can download the final Eclipse zip file from this orange download button. Once you have finished downloading, you have to extract and you will see uh, this Eclipse folder. Go inside and uh, we need one workspace. So I am creating a separate folder for the workspace to avoid the confusion and conflicts and the same uh, folder will be used as a workspace for uh, this Eclipse 3. So just launch the Eclipse with uh, Eclipse.exe. So you can see this is Eclipse 3. Meanwhile, uh, let me know you about the step 4. So I'm opening the Eclipse. So inside the Eclipse, we have to perform the fourth step in which we will download C and C++ plugin. Now it is asking for the workspace path. As we have seen, we have created one folder workspace. So the separate folder, dedicated folder for workspace. This one is the folder. So the same path is given here in the box and click launch and Eclipse will set up all the files and uh, will use this folder for creating a project and other files. So here we are. So this is the welcome screen inside the Eclipse and Eclipse is ready to work. Now we have to perform our fourth step. So we have to download C++ plugin. Go to help the menu and go to add this uh, install new software option and this window will appear. So click here on this drop down and we have to select uh, the the item oxygen and this link so this is the official uh, link for the software various kind of software downloading and this is provided by the eclipse so we are selecting this one this automatically fetch all the children's and the software items and will be displayed inside this box Okay, all are appeared. Now we are looking for the programming languages. So look for the programming languages and expand the tree. And then you will see the list of tools. So in these tools, we have to select only one C, C++ development tools. Check this box and click on the next button finally. And process will start. And uh, expand this so you can check how many tools uh, are available under this category CC++ development tools finally click next then it will show you the license agreement page accept it click on the finish button and uh, in the bottom you can see the plugin downloading is in progress now this is 49% we have to wait for uh, the completion of this installation this can take few minutes depends on your internet speed so don't worry about that 
normally it takes 5 to 10 minutes on an average internet speed and finally it will ask you to and uh, restart click on the restart now button and it will take restart okay now workspace uh, is again asking so this is the default we have set for the workspace folder we are good to go okay click on the launch now the eclipse is loading finally it is loaded and uh, once it is loaded you will see another uh, link cc plus plus development that means uh, we have successfully installed the cc plus plus plugin for the development inside the eclipse now we us uh, will do some settings of the path and uh, we will create a sample program and we will try to run it in the step 5 so step 5 is just like uh, some few small settings uh, we will check with uh, creating the a C program. So all these st uh, steps will be done simultaneously. So go to the file menu, then uh, select for go to select other, and then this uh, project wizard will open, and you will see C C plus plus uh, category and expand the tree, and you will see these options. So we going to create a simple C project. You can choose any one C C plus plus and C++ project so I'm just going to create a simple C project click on the next and uh, this uh, again a new window will appear so here you have to type a project name that you want to start with so this is my first C project so I have given the name my first C project and inside the tool chain you can see mingwcc this is the interpreter and uh, you can see the compiler so if you uncheck this box so you can see the other options available but this is the most suitable for the c which is configured properly and click on the next and then click on the finish and this will uh, ask you for uh, open the perspective that is suitable for the c c plus plus development so, so click on the yes now you can see on the left hand side project explorer tab project is created also we have the includes so the required header files added now we're going to create a simple source file so selecting the source and this uh, window will appear so right here we have to give a c file name so this is my first program my c program dot c so we have to give the extension of the file if you will not do that this will give you a warning if you put this the so warning will be removed okay so this blank file will appear now we have to write some code to test it i have already written some in some cases you will see the error when you're going to run this program that's why i have written i will uh, tell you in the last what is the solution of that error so this is my sample code the small code that will print hello cool it help so just paste it and save the file now uncheck and do a clean of this project to test it everything is fine or not okay now build is finished without any error or you can see on the left hand side the class files the binaries are generated and uh, this program is ready to run now do the right click the same way you have run the java program so you can run the c program as well local c c plus plus application just click and then see the result hello cool it help in the console so this c program is executed properly without any error and guys uh, this error has not uh, occurred because we have done this setup properly in case you have got this such error then you have to go to the windows preferences and then you have to go to c c plus plus option expand the tree then go to the make file editor inside the settings and here you will see the settings POSIX MAC and GNU MAC in some cases GNU MAC is not detecting then you have to select POSIX MAC and then you have to give the path up to the bin folder this is the bin folder okay so copy this path and uh, click on this new button and give this path here 
ultimately you have to select the bin folder that means so in such a way you can apply and apply and close then uh, your error will be resolved i have tried this thing in the another setup that's why i'm uh, sharing with you i hope this will help you in such cases when you are getting that error so this is the whole setup of a cc++ inside this clips eclipse i hope you guys found this tutorial useful so guys please like this tutorial and appreciate our work and please subscribe my channel or you can press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help